Hello everyone, it's Heather from Active Newcastle. Welcome to Wellbeing and Balance. Just a reminder that this uh, session is suitable for most people. Please work at your own pace and use the ad adaptations given throughout if needed. Okay, so we're going to start off with our posture check. So I want you to start with your feet together. Okay, we're going to turn those toes out into a tentative position. All right, we don't want to go any further than that because we don't want to put any pressure on the knees. And then bring the heels in line with the toes. Okay, I'll just show you from the side. So we're in this position. I want you to make sure you've got a good connection on your feet. So we're nice and grounded. So our big toe, our little toe and our heel is connected. So if you're not sure, just lean forwards and back, left to right, just until you can feel, and then maybe a little bit of a circle, change direction, and then make sure, come back to the center and make sure you are nice and grounded through those feet. Heels, knees, and hips should be nicely stacked. We want our knees soft, we're not in a squat position, but we're not locking them out, okay? So just a nice soft knee so that we're not locking the joints, putting any extra pressure there. We're gonna find our neutral spine, so place your hands on your hips. We're just going to tilt the pelvis forwards, so pushing the tailbone out, okay? You can either have your hands on your hip bones or one on the front, one on the back, so you're tilting forwards, and then the opposite direction, you're pushing that tailbone in. So we're going to almost the extremes here just to get movement in the pelvis area and then come halfway in between. Other thing to check is, is that obviously our hips are level. We're not standing on one leg so one side's not higher. So just have your hands here and just say, yep, yeah, they're the same height, which is good. Excellent. Bring the shoulders all the way up to the ears, all the way down the back. Now, if our hands are down by the side, great, we've got, it's good. If you find that your arms are just rotating around to the front, I want you to just take your arms out to the side, squeeze the shoulder blades together, stretching out the front of the chest there. And just opening up the chest and activating these upper back muscles and then bring your arms down by your side. I want you to look straight ahead but we're not letting the head fall back or pull down too much, but we want the chin slightly tucked. And that's our good posture. So I want you to remain with that throughout the session. Okay, obviously I'll give you a few points as we go along. We're gonna go into our lateral breathing. So taking our hands, placing them on the ribs, fingertips together. We're gonna to take in a breath. And as we inhale, I want you to feel the ribs are lift, so the lungs are filling up, and therefore the fingertips will come apart and exhale. Inhale, you can take a few goes to get this right, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Excellent. Next bit, core engagement. So you can place your hand over your belly button if you want. Okay, you don't have to, but sometimes it's nice to have feedback. As we take a breath in, we inhale, the ribs come up. As we exhale, I want you to pull that tummy button in to 100%. So imagine you've got the strongest magnet and it's pulling it all the way in, as tight as you can go. Hold it and then let it go. Inhale. Exhale, bring that into 50% now. Just that 50% connection, hold it, and then let it go. And then last one, inhale, exhale, we're gonna pull that into 30%. So it's just being pulled in, we're not squeezing it really tight, but it's just aware we've got that connection and we can maintain it. And we're gonna keep that connection, okay? throughout I will reiterate as well so if we have lost any connection there we can pull it back in excellent so we've got our good posture we know how to do our lateral breathing and we've got our core engaged we're just going to take a step forward now as if we're going to walk and I want you to just peel the feet so one at a time so 
at one point both feet are flat, soft knees, and then the front foot comes up. We roll forwards. Excellent, pulling that back. That was my ankle clicking, so that needed to happen. It's all right. Keeping the knees soft, we're keeping the hips straight forwards. We're keeping them level, we're keeping the shoulders relaxed and we're keeping the posture good. more and then bringing it back stepping forward with the opposite leg and again just rocking backwards and forwards so we're going from a heel to toe toe to heel motion okay keeping the knees soft just inhale exhale let the breath come naturally so inhale through the nose exhale out through the mouth One more and bringing it back. Excellent. Okay, so reset your posture. If you've got a chair or your wall, whichever is um, you use, we're going to go into our balance now. So reset, core's engaged. We're going to take our right leg forward, level one. We're just going to tap it to the front, making sure that on this standing leg, okay, that the knee is soft. We're not locking it out, but it's not too soft, but it's not pushed back. Level one, toe is out the front, but still remains in contact with the floor. Level two, slightly come off. Okay, so we're just about an inch off the floor here. Level three, you can bring it anywhere up to so that your knee is in line with your hip. Okay, keeping that posture. Arms relaxed down by the side or holding onto your chair or your wall. Just breathe and hold. Keep that core engaged. Step it down. Switch sides. and bringing it back again making sure that standing leg the knees not locked out so we're actually using the muscles of the thigh maybe working the core working our balance but we're also working the standing leg bringing it back switch and lift if you find that your balance is improving and take your arms out in front of you as well. Just make sure you're staying focused. So find a spot to stay focused on. If you're looking down at your feet or you're looking elsewhere, you will wobble. Excellent. Okay, so we're going to balance, taking it out to the side. So again, standing leg, nice and strong. Level one, just keeps the toe in contact. Level two, just off the floor. Level three, obviously a bigger movement. Control. And bringing it back. Switching sides. Find your position, find your level. Again, you can try if you want. Only if it feels comfortable to do so. If you know your balance isn't good, just use your chair or your wall. Excellent, bringing it back. One more on this side. So it's always good to try the next level if you're strong and steady on the level that you're on and then if it feels too much you can always bring it back down always listen to your body if it feels good 
go for it. If it doesn't feel good, take it down or rest, bringing it back. Okay, coming behind the chair or facing the wall, we're going to step the leg back for level one. Toe remains in contact, core's engaged, shoulders are relaxed. Level two, slightly lift, making sure you've got a nice long leg, okay? Point the toes if you can and squeezing at the bottom. Level three, you're going to tip forward. And if it feels comfortable and strong on that standing leg, taking your arms out in front of you. Excellent, bringing it back, switching sides, find that level. We always tip from the hip, so we're keeping that spine nice and straight, okay? There's a rod going through it, so it's not bending. We can't curve it. Bringing it back, switch again, last one on this side. Don't hold your breath. Keep the breath flowing. Excellent, and come back. Okay, so we'll go into the main section now. Reset your posture. Okay, we're going to do three point toe taps. So, cause engaged, shoulders are relaxed, chair, walls here for assistance if needs be. We're going to start off with our right leg. Okay, you can either have your arm down by your side or on your hip, wherever feels comfortable for you. Standing leg, strong but knees not locked. We're going to tap to the front, to the center, to the side, to the center, and Okay, so don't overextenuate yourself at the back, okay? So when we tap to the back, I want you to keep your posture strong, okay? Not, we're not arching like this to try and get the foot further back, okay? Right, forward, centre, side, centre, back. That's it. Now just go with your own breath. Go at your own pace. If it feels like it's getting a bit too much, just do a shorter distance, okay? So don't tap as far forward. Don't tap as far out to the side or as far back. Listen to what your body's saying. You should feel that the muscles are working more like an ache. But there should be no pain. Okay, we're going to go one more time through. Excellent. Reset. Switching the other leg. Tap forward, centre, side, centre, back. That's it. You may have one leg that's much easier than the other. Or stronger. That's that's very normal too. Making sure we're not locking that knee out on this standing leg. Okay, we're going to go around two more times. centre. Excellent. Okay. Just bring your feet together. We're just going to bring one knee in front and push that back hip. Just feel that nice stretch. Bringing it to centre, bringing it over. Excellent. 
excellent okay so we're going to go into leg circles now you can do these sitting if needs be okay just make sure you're on the edge of your seat and obviously you won't get an exact circle so we're going to tap the legs to the front and again just make it a smaller circle if needs be don't change your posture for anything okay don't try and overcompensate somewhere else tapping the leg forward you're going to draw a semicircle and then bringing it back forwards and back that core remains strong our posture remains good and the shoulders remain relaxed inhale exhale around We're going to stay on this leg but we're going to go backwards so step it back and bringing it around step it back and around last one Okay, so we're going to switch sides, standing leg, strong but not locked, point the toes and draw that semicircle. stepping it back in opposite direction make sure you don't catch your foot or your toes on a chair leg or a wall chair or facing our wall now we're going to go into calf raises so feet parallel okay just like get that posture if you need to again feet together toes apart heels in line relax the shoulders we're going to take a breath in and we're going to slowly raise up onto our toes or as high as feels comfortable for you inhale to lower exhale to lift inhale to lower Nice and controlled. And two more. Excellent. Okay, we're going to come back into that position. So I want you to into first position. So feet together, toes turned out in the ten to two position. But this time, okay, we'll keep the heels together. We're going to come back up into a calf raise, squeezing or everything. So. Squeezing the calves, the hump, the back of the thighs, back of the legs, and the bottom as we come up. Exhale to lift, inhale to lower. Okay, let's stretch it out. So taking your right foot back, push your heel into the floor, okay? 
Imagine you're in sand and you're pushing your foot, it's sinking away from you. Soften that front knee, use your chair or wall, lean further into that stretch. Making sure that back foot is pointing forward, it's not tipping out to the side. If it's too much or you can't get your heel on the floor, shorten your stance. Okay, we're going to bring that back heel up. Okay, and we're going to drop the back knee, soften the knee, and we're just going to push the hips forward. Okay, so you're feeling a stretch here now. Come back up, switch sides. Pushing back through that heel. Again, check, have a look. Can you straighten that foot up? If not, shorten your stance until you can. Just breathe through it. Pulling that back heel up, dropping the knee. Okay, so it's just a soft bend. It's not a big movement. And again, push the hips forwards. So you're feeling that stretch on this, on the front of the thigh, around the hip pelvis area. And then slowly come up. Excellent. Okay, so again, we're going to move into our upper body. So we've got our chair. So if you want to do these exercises sitting down, you can do at all times. Just obviously remain good posture, sitting nice and tall, course engaged. We're going to go into side bends to start, so reset. Inhale, exhale, we're going to tip to one side. So you're just going to slide the arm down the leg. Inhale to centre and exhale down. The shoulders are not moving, okay? They're completely relaxed. The only movement is coming from the waist here. So we're keeping that spine tall, so we inhale, we lengthen the spine, we exhale and we just tip as far over as we can go. Inhale and exhale. Now what you need to make sure as well when we're doing this is that we're not coming forward, we're staying in a line. So if you feel that you're tipping forwards or you're tipping back, Reset and make the movement smaller. So the best way to imagine it is that you're between two panes of glass and they're not letting you go any further. And bringing it back. Excellent. Okay, we're going to do alternating arm raises today. So normally we do arm floats back straight up and down and if that is what feels comfortable for you then you can do this but we'll try a little bit of coordination today so we're going to take in a breath we're going to float one arm up to shoulder height now i want your palms facing inwards into your body and i want your thumbs pointing up to the ceiling okay so we're coming up and down and then up and down excellent so we exhale to lift, inhale to lower. So you can keep going at this pace, or we can just speed it up a little bit. So as one comes down, the other one comes up. But if that's too much, if your coordination's not the best, just go back to alternating one at a time. Each arm ensuring that we are even excellent okay making sure we've got plenty of space because we're going to take the arms out to the side okay so palms facing into the body okay so then when we lift the arms up keeping the shoulders relaxed we are keeping the hands go so that they're facing the floor if it's too much doing both arms at a time just float one up and down and then alternate so just choose your level and again don't go past shoulder height so we don't need to go above this position 
but if you can't get as high up if that's where it's good for you then that's absolutely fine Again, it's all about listening to your body, that mind-body connection. So if something doesn't feel right, don't force it. Two more. Excellent. Okay, we're going to take our right hand, we're going to place it on our left shoulder. We're going to take our left hand and just past the shoulder joint on the upper arm, we're just going to push that shoulder off. So we're stretching around here. So hopefully you've enjoyed this session. If you've missed any of our previous sessions, you can catch them on our YouTube channel at Active Newcastle and subscribe to the channel. We've got all our other sessions on there. So we've got the circuits, etc. The move to music, the core, they're all on there. So right from the start, so if there's any you missed or if there's any you want to go back and do, redo, uh, you can check them out on there. Okay, taking your fingers together interlinking hands away from you chin to chest opening up that upper back and then bringing the hands around to your back squeezing the elbows towards each other opening up the chest this one doesn't feel comfortable, you can put your hands behind and lift up as well. It's just going to be whatever works for you. And there we go, we are done. So hopefully you've enjoyed the session and we'll see you another time for another well-being and balance.